last night brewing beer, and I got hungry this morning, and look what I found. I found some spent grains in a bucket. I told you guys I was going to eat them. So I, I put them on the stove, mixed some eggs in it, cooked it up, and uh, threw some maple syrup on top, and it's like French toast, but better. I mean, who wouldn't love this stuff? And I'm reusing my product. That was a deep, dark beer, too, so. Oh, yeah, it's nice and sugary. Chris and I are in the kitchen cooking tonight, and uh, yeah, we these, are. These are some beautiful, beautiful spent grains from a double, like an imperial stout that we just made. Been dried down real nice. They're tasty. Christian made a breakfast from it, but what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of grind these down because we're going to be making a peanut butter. <laughs> Grandson's here. We're gonna make a peanut butter uh, stout spent grain cookie. chocolate chip cookie. So no, it's gonna be good. But I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these uh, spent grains ground down a bit, and then right we'll kind of show you, the, you some of the parts of it, and then we'll we'll give you the recipe and tell you how it came out. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm just using my little bean grinder for the coffee and makes a nice semi-fine. It's not super fine because I want to have a little texture from it as well. Oh, they smell good. <laughs> okay, the first step is to mix the dry ingredients. This is my own recipe, by the way. It's not, not from somebody else. So I've mixed in uh, a, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a cup of spent grains from the stout, which we, you know, kind of gr grind it down. A uh, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and we've mixed those together. All right, now I'm mixing the uh, other ingredients, which is going to be the uh, half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, an egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of unsalted butter, and one cup of peanut butter. And after that's kind of creamy and mixed, I'm going to add the chocolate chips and then the dry ingredients. Now I'm mixing in the dry ingredients. Along with our spent grains. I'm going to add the chocolate, chocolate chips, but it's a bit dry, so we're modifying the, the recipe and we need a little moisture. So, I've just added half a cup of stout. In this case, none other than Founders Breakfast Stout. Hey, go for the best, baby. Life's too short. Make expensive cookies. And lastly, we're mixing in our cup of chocolate chips. This is going to be awesome. Wow. The cookies took an interesting shape. They didn't flatten out as much. I've got to tell you, these are extremely rich. Not that that should be a surprise. Spent grains from Stout. Awesome. Come up with your own recipe or check ours down below. See ya. You already watched cars? Yeah, so it's calling how many times? This thing is really good. The pineapple adds a really nice sweetness, but the, the flavor of the meat and the... <clears throat> I don't know, the, the whole thing just goes really well together. The mayonnaise, the wasabi mayonnaise, is adding a really nice complex flavor. Yes. Even, even a one and a half year old loves this thing. Okay, he's lying, but... I, don't know, I can't even describe it really, it's just that good. Christian, what do you say? Well, it's delicious. I'm halfway done. Definitely could have used more kick in the mayonnaise from the wasabi. Definitely can withhold it. Yeah. The sweetness from the uh, from the pineapple is good. We should have maybe even grilled the pineapple a little bit. It's definitely not grilling season here in Oregon, so the burgers could have been grilled. Could just add a little bit more flavor, but that basil in there is... Uh, 
Ah, oh, delicious. A little kick of that basil. That stuff's good, and these buns are excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this. So, worth giving this one a shot. And of course, Christian's got his uh, sweet potato fries. Oh, with some wasabi mayonnaise. Yeah, which is yeah. also good. Mm. Wow. Oh, guys. Those, uh, those miso burgers were so good. So good. I had to go around to Mrs. Clement's homebrew is back. And uh, we are we are cooking here, baby. And it just doesn't get any better because, oh yeah, I've got one of my uh, double IPAs. And I'm going to tell you what, it's interesting. It It's, you know, I know Dan ABA said to be concerned because um, it might get too sweet. But actually, the hops are still there. It's tasting someplace between a double IPA and a barley wine. Enjoy life. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Drink beer. Make amazing food. See ya.